Um, so I thought I'd do something a little different today. Let's do a shop with me, dinner prep with me. These are some things that I do to make the weeknight meal situation a lot easier or more convenient for my family. So anybody kind of can cook it, whether it's myself or my husband, and sometimes my eldest son helps, but um, I'm gonna go get some groceries. I have some for the week, but I do need meat <laughs> for some of these meals. So I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping and we're gonna come back and do some dinner prep. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm back home. Um, let me show you what I'm gonna do today to just get ahead of the week to make weeknight dinners easier. So I'm gonna prep the spaghetti sauce for spaghetti night. I already had a jar of pasta sauce. This is actually marinara sauce in my pantry. So I'm gonna just add mushrooms to the ground beef, season it up and create the spaghetti sauce and freeze that. I'm also gonna have ground turkey enchiladas, cheese enchiladas with the ground turkey chile con carne sauce on top. And this is a little hack that I do when I make cheese enchiladas. I just use cheese sticks and roll it up in the corn tortillas. I'm going to create my chile con carne gravy slash sauce for the enchiladas and freeze that. And this is just going to go in the fridge, but I'm going to make the, the sauce for the enchiladas, the meat sauce. I'm also going to make uh, ground turkey chili. I had a can of beans, some fire roasted tomatoes in a can. I will season it and create a uh, turkey chili for one night. Here I have, I love this pre-seasoned salmon. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bake these and serve a side salad. I did buy that tub of salad uh, mix. So I'll probably have salad with the salmon and with the, you know, spaghetti night. This, I'll do side salad, steamed rice, and the salmon. Here, I'm going to marinate the chicken or season it. And I did find um, mashed cauliflower with cheddar, uh, cheddar and bacon in the mix. And that's going to be the side for the baked chicken. Um, I'm also probably going to have side salad with that. And that's just going to help me out for weeknight dinners. Okay, I'm gonna make the turkey chili first. I'm gonna add a little bit of cooking oil into my preheated pot. Well, it's, I don't have it on a high heat. Let's see here, let's crank it up. So I'm gonna add the turkey. Let's see. I'm gonna break that apart. Okay, so to make life a lot easier and more convenient, you can definitely season uh, your chili with prepackaged chili mixes. Uh, they're like a dollar at the store. It all works. You, but I have a pantry full of like dried seasonings and spices. So that's why I use the seasonings at home. But if you're shopping and that's a lot more convenient for you, go for it. It all works. So I'm going to go in with some dried dehydrated minced onion, some garlic powder, like a teaspoon, some smoked paprika, like a teaspoon. See, I've got some ground cumin. It's up to you how much you want to put. I go for a teaspoon. I'm going to go for, I'll start with like two tablespoons of, uh, this is fancy light chili powder. I love to use it. And I'm also going to add um, some seasoned salt. You could add regular salt. I'm going to go in there with that. I'll say like a teaspoon of that and just cook the ground turkey. Okay, so I'm going in with my, this is a 14 ounce can of to, uh, diced tomato. Let's give that a mix. 
Now I'm going to go in with, this is three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You could also use like maseca mixed in with some cold water to thicken your chili, but I just went with flour today. Actually, my pan is sliding. Okay. So I'm going to cook out the flour. Now I'm going to add, um, I'll start with a cup of chicken broth. This is low sodium chicken broth. Work that in. It's going to thicken because essentially what you've created with the flour is a roux. So I'm going to go in with another cup. Now I'm going in with my pinto beans that I've kind of rinsed and drained. I'm going to give this a mix. I'm going to let it simmer for on a low heat, covered for about 15 minutes. Taste it for salt, seasoning, adjust, and this is done. I'm going to let it cool and then store it in my freezer baggie for later use. Okay, so next I'm going to do the chile con carne and I'm using ground turkey instead of ground beef. And I am going to need around three tablespoons of cooking oil. This is lean ground turkey. If you're using a higher fat ratio of meat, you're not gonna need all that cooking oil. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the turkey. Ooh. I'm just gonna, you know, I should have preheated this a little bit better. <laughs> Um, I'm going to break apart the turkey, cook it, and let me show you the recipe for the enchilada sauce. It's right from my cookbook. Okay, guys, so here is the recipe for the enchilada sauce I'm using for that chile con carne. It's, it's pretty much the, the same ratios, and this is it, and, you know, here's my cookbook. I have a link in the description below, and I use this all the time in my kitchen, that's why it's dirty. But here's the ingredient list for the uh, enchilada sauce. This is what um, the ratio of ingredients that I'm using today for this chile con carne. Okay, but today, instead of fresh onion, I'm going with some dehydrated minced onion, and sadly, the last of that jar. Going in with some garlic powder, my chili powder, this is fancy light chili powder, so it's sort of like a blend. Here I'm going with my chicken bouillon powder. If you're using ground beef, go with beef. I'm gonna add my ground cumin. I'm also gonna add some cracked black pepper. Let me give these spice mixes a mix. And I know you're probably thinking, what is all this oil or whatever? Well, you need the fat uh, because this is lean ground turkey meat, I don't have a lot, you know, there's not a lot of, going to be a lot of rendered fat. Uh, but the cooking oil um, is going to help to create that roux to make this chile con carne gravy slash sauce, enchilada sauce. I know, I'm rambling. Okay. So I'm going to finish cooking this through. Okay, so I'm going to add my flour. And I'm going to combine and mix this and cook it for a minute or so. Okay, now I'm going to add my chicken, low sodium chicken broth that I had left over from when I was making the chili. And I'm just going to work that into this meat mixture with that roux that we created. And that's going to thicken. So I've added the rest of my broth. I'm going to combine, mix, and then you'll just want to simmer it until thickened. Okay, I'm going to marinate um, my chicken legs for baked chicken, and I'm going to marinate it with my stovetop carne asada marinade. Um, you know, this is a, I, I like it for any type of carne asada, whether you're using beef, chicken, pork, in my opinion, it all works. And these are uh, the ingredients uh, that I'll be using to marinate my chicken legs today. So there you go, that's the recipe, or that's the ingredient list. Okay, so for the marinade, instead of using fresh onion and fresh garlic, I'm going with, again, I found my dehydrated onion, um, some granulated garlic. I'm also going to squeeze in the juice of like limes and oranges. Damn, this is a juicy orange, it's going everywhere. Now I'm going in with my soy sauce. 
You can also use coconut aminos. I had a commenter once say that they prefer to use coconut aminos with this, which, hey, that totally works. I love smoked paprika and all things. <laughs> so it's going in my marinade to add a little sugar to the marinade. And then just give this a mix. And this is going onto my chicken once this is mixed. Okay, so I have my chicken already in my freezer bag. And let me get a good angle here. Ooh. And I'm just gonna pour it right into my baggie. I'll kind of mix it around, massage it into the chicken, uh, seal it, kind of get most of the air out of it, and it'll be ready for the freezer. And so let's go ahead and close that up. Okay, and you might, I mean, I don't know. I do have some uh, reusable baggies, but I only have so many, so I was out. But yeah, massage your chicken and That'll marinate while it's in the freezer and then you thaw it out and bake it. Okay, so I'm gonna work on my spaghetti sauce and I'm almost done. So I've already cleaned these with a damp cloth. I removed the fibrous stems, which you can save for stocks and boiling and soups and things like that. And I'm just going to um, slice, and this is going to be a rough slice. It's not gonna be pretty or perfect. And I'm just going to put my slices into the bowl over here. Thank you, and just repeat the process for all of my uh, mushrooms. So I'm gonna go with my mushrooms. I hope this is preheated. I'm kind of in a hurry today. I wanna relax. Um, so I'm gonna saute the mushrooms a bit and then add the ground beef, all the seasonings. Cook it, saute it until the ground beef is cooked through. Add the sauce, season, and all that good stuff, and it should be done. So let me finish sauteing these. Okay, so I am going to add, oh, Italian seasoning. Well, that's gonna be really herbaceous. And um, let me get that going. And I'm actually, instead of adding the seasoned salt, I meant to grab the dehydrated minced onion. I love using dehydrated minced onion because I just don't want to chop onions. How about that? Okay, going in with my ground beef. And now I'm going to add my seasoned salt, like a half teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'm going to add some of my garlic powder. And just break it apart, combine, saute everything very well. Okay, so I am going to open this. And I'll also add like a quarter cup. After I pour this out, add a quarter cup of water, swish it around, and add that to your sauce. But we're going to go over here and to add the sauce. Actually, this kind of came out really good. And I was using lean ground beef. So, you know, if you're using like a higher fat ratio, drain the, the rendered fat from it, but eh, we're good. So I'm gonna mix this around. I'm gonna lower the heat. I don't want this to pop everywhere. I'm gonna go get some water. Okay, so I'm going to squish around the water. Here we go. I'm going to mix this, bring it up to a gentle simmer, cover with the lid, and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes just to let everything kind of reduce and, you know, the beef will kind of get tender. Then I'm going to shut off the heat, let it cool off to room temperature, and store it. Okay, so my spaghetti sauce, or actually this could be a pasta bake sauce. It's a meat sauce with mushrooms. I don't know if I'm going to do spaghetti this week, uh, which is tomorrow. Uh, starting the you know the weekday or uh, if I'm gonna do maybe a pasta bake for example I love to do a baked spaghetti or um, you know sometimes I do baked ziti with a meat sauce uh, you know I will link those recipe videos in the description below that to, just to give you an idea here I have my ground turkey chili I'm definitely gonna make some homemade cornbread with this that'll make dinner easy because this part is done and uh, I do have a recipe video for homemade cornbread. 
This is my chile con carne enchilada sauce gravy uh, made with ground turkey and the sauce mix. Um, and I do have a recipe video for enchiladas that we crave. And I will link that in the description below. Here's my marinated chicken, the salmon's in the freezer. So I'm going to put these up and this is ready for the week. Okay, so that is done. I am ready for the week. I'm ready to do nothing today. I hope you guys found these ideas helpful. Be sure to check the description below for links to other recipe ideas that kind of go along with what I made. Also, the link to my cookbook is in the description below. You can find my cookbook online at walmart.com, target.com, barnesandnoble.com. Um, and yeah, just, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, be sure to subscribe, give this video a like. Also, if you are subscribed to me, be sure to check the notifications, click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos. Okay, so I'm ready to take a break. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.